And we are moving on with part four of our card by card analysis in the game 1960, The Making of the President. We hope you'll join us here on Legendary Tactics. Okay, we've been working through this deck and we yeah. are on to the next card here, which the is going batch. to be Ta -da. Missile Gap. Missile Gap. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Three so, campaign points, gain one rest cube. Yeah. Uh, so um, in you, it's looking at defense. Yes. So it's Kennedy gains three issue support in defense. Yeah. Um, and Georgia is the state if you're... Um, interested looking there. to get some a leg up in the in the last part of the campaign and yeah. George is actually valued really you know reasonably highly it's 12 you know it's worth it, yeah it's worth okay. fighting for I don't know yeah. if the event is all that compelling to me I mean I guess situationally it could be but it doesn't it doesn't blow yeah. me away yeah it's it's worth I mean in terms of the value in campaign points it's worth five right so because you would spend uh, one on the first one two on the second you know another two on the, the, third. On the third cube so yeah. but what what i do like about this is that if um if i'm already up in defense like let's say you just have one you drop another three support on defense and, and you own it for, for, for the, the rest of the game yeah, like pretty well yeah yeah that's it's a good point. pretty nice that way um so you can definitely own that issue and that's worth you know at least an endorsement or a momentum marker you know, or both at, you know, throughout the, uh, does know, this one the, at all make game, you nervous so. if you're Nixon? Uh, well, I don't think I'd like the Kennedy player to play it, but again, it depends, you know, if there's, if, if I, if as Nixon, I have support there and, and it just kind of cancels out some of that support. It's, uh, it's okay. Okay. Um, it's a bit situational, but I would say this is a very good event overall for Kennedy. I think it's, uh, it's solid, but if if you want to take the campaign points, uh, you know it's uh, three is pretty good. So yeah, yeah, three points too. Yeah, that yeah. is a good point you make though about you know the cost of actually putting three into defense. It is pretty high. So yes, it does so, actually make it worth a little more than than the the, the card value. Yes, yeah. So it, it it's a it's a pretty good event, um, but not maybe the best in the game or anything. But it's I think it's, it's solid. very very solid yeah and uh if you're nixon it's it probably i don't know if it's worth blocking but it's definitely worth working into your calculus for sure exactly so then so, we have the early returns from connecticut yeah another election day event okay two cp here and on election day the player leading connecticut gains five support checks in california <laughs> which is kind of bizarre <laughs> i don't know i guess it's just that uh the connecticut returns came in early and they potentially influenced the voting in, in the west california yeah uh which is you know possible for sure uh but it's just it's really funny because you know you have to gain control uh in connecticut which is a relatively you know it's obscure it's sitting well it's not sitting obscure on the, but it, yeah it's I mean, sitting on the margins it's on the margins in the east, and so for you to pour support into Connecticut, especially since you have to play this event face up, right? So your opponent will know. They will know, and so they, if they're looking to gain more support in California, they may may not travel there. They may end up just pouring support in, uh, uh, pouring. Uh, uh, you know, campaign cubes into uh, Connecticut, which is kind of funny. Now, you know it's what this a, is it's interesting? It's a weird though. card. It, it's interesting if you got this in the last round and could yes. parlay it into a very interesting kind of power play for California. Yes, yes. If you if if the circumstances with right, were right, in which case, you'd probably want to drop this as your last card. Take uh, Connecticut, and then, yeah. and, and then even if your opponent, and, and basically letting your opponent have California, knowing you've got this, right? Yeah, well, five support checks is not a guarantee, but it oh, definitely no. it's a pretty that's pretty decent. All things you, being equal, you're you can probably get count two on three. two, right? Yeah, two, yeah. two to three for sure. Or, or yeah, and that might two, be enough to, to swing to it. Swing it, yep, for sure. So it's it's worth. And I mean, it, California I say, is nothing to sneeze at. No, no, it's a great state to own. But I would say that you know, basically, you're probably thinking about. Um, you know, just, you know, if this, if you get this later in the game, it's much more powerful than if you get it in turn one. I just, oh, yeah, yeah. I can't see you playing it, especially, you know, 
in turn one you need the campaign points anyway so yeah, um, yeah i would take that but or or save it or this is actually a pretty safe event to save for the debate as well that's true too yeah i, and, I don't know if either yeah. I've, I've, I've ever seen either of us play this card actually for the event no no i, I think it's very so i think it has to be very situational. in this last in the last turn yeah i agree and uh yeah i mean wyoming is also not particularly uh <laughs> you know a hot influential spot. yeah it's like yeah, three right. three electoral votes right so yeah. not really gonna game changing that way okay moving on to volunteers volunteers <laughs> so, now i've i've found i've never taken this event to be honest um i mean it's it's handy maybe if you if you um if you play it early enough in your turn that you get a momentum marker back and that like so if the other player's just taken away all your momentum markers this is a good thing to get at least one of them back because if a player wipes out your momentum markers it's usually because they have a bad events they want to yes dump. yes or if you've got some uh you know opponent events that you don't want played yeah, if you well, this may give you the extra momentum marker to to, to, pay block. to block it, right? Yeah. That's what I'm kind of thinking. I mean, it, it could be kind of used as a a bit of a defense. Yes, but it is handy in the debate. It's safe to play for the debate, um, and but it is only two campaign points. Yeah, so it's not uh, a so, huge cost for a momentum yeah. marker, I don't think. So I I, yeah. I I'm relatively comfortable playing this event actually. Yeah, yeah, I think it it can be a good event, but again, it has to be part of your your grand turn strategy because uh, the momentum markers decay at the end of the turn. So you want to make sure you're going to make, get some use out of any, you don't want to play it. Then have to just discard, get. right? Yeah. You, yeah. you would never play this as a last card. No, no. I, well, yeah, no, I can't. Unless, really unless you were that. down to zero and then you could have one in, in, in banked. But. Yeah. Yeah. And if you didn't have any, any uh, control of issues or whatever, you might want to have a men momentum marker going into the next, into the next turn. So, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 um it's for, kind of for, a blah card, but for two um, campaign points, it's not a huge cost. Yeah. So, yeah, it's probably I just don't remember ever taking it for the event, or maybe once. No, yeah, um, but yeah, it just seems like there's always other uses for those. better plays at the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, moving on. Recount, Recount another election day event. Okay, now it's four campaign points, so it's a heavier card. Yeah, um, on which, election which day. Is, the yep, Nixon player gains three support checks in any one state. Yeah. And to me, um, I mean, that could be potentially, uh, you know, great. I mean, it could swing, you know, a, a key state where, you know, if uh, Kennedy's up by one, you know, you may you may be able to flip it entirely, which could be very valuable. But it's four campaign points that you have to give up and you're you know you can only really bank on getting one of the three checks to be safe right yeah really that's I mean, so, as a safe you I mean you yeah. could get lucky and get two and the odds are very against you to get all three so yeah it's it's kind of a hail mary uh kind of card but i mean if i'm if i'm kennedy if if i get this like it also is Texas too. That's something to consider. Yeah, well, that's as well. what I was gonna say. If if I'm, I mean, the four campaign points are hard to give up, but Texas is also uh, a very valuable state. So, um, you know, I I don't know. I can't see. You know, I maybe Kennedy plays a momentum marker to get this this event, um, or but I can't see Nixon playing this event. It just seems like the four campaign points are going to be too valuable. Would you spend your uh, Would you spend a marker to actually uh, initiate this event? Uh, yeah, I might. Um, it it definitely has that that potential. That sort of that, you know you know that hail mary pass kind of sense to it where yeah. it's like yeah you know what if if you're if there's a state that's close and if you can flip it yeah. um even even if it's um even if it's got two or three cubes uh you know of kennedy's but you want but you have the endorsement in that region for yes. example you yes. just need to get it to zero i mean it could very easily score you like a 20 a 20 plus state right yeah it could it could so, so. I just find in the heat of the moment, I'm probably more likely to take the four campaign points, but the event is decent. Um, yes. And is is probably, I'd be curious if uh, anyone has uh, won a game because of it or something like that. If you want to comment in the uh, comment section down below and like and subscribe while you're down there, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Indeed. And we move on right. to number five card here. Yeah. Which is 
The Thank Great you. Seal Bug. Yeah, three campaign points, gain one rescue. And that Nixon gains one issue support in defense and may retrieve the Henry Cabot Lodge card from the discard pile if it's there. Yeah, so what are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh... It's not bad. I mean, the, again, the defense is kind of seems like it's a bit of a throw in. And yeah. it's probably if, if the, uh, Henry Cabot hasn't been played yet, at least you get something out of it for the uh, event. Yes, but Henry Cabot Lodge, I'm just digging around and we'll we'll ex explain this this card more, but it is a very powerful card. So the Great Seal Bug can be an amazing way to get this card either to play a second time or to retrieve it and play it the time that you didn't you didn't get to play it before the main thing is you gain nixon gains two state support in massachusetts and two issues support in in defense and if the nixon candidate card is currently flipped to its exhausted side then the nixon player may reclaim it face up oh, so if powerful. you yeah so if you got a chance to uh you exhaust your nixon card then you play henry cabot lodge to restore him and then, then you, you play the great seal bug and restore yeah, well then Henry, you ex yeah. exhaust it, nixon again and then you play great seal bug and then play henry cabot lodge again um you can really kind of like parlay a nice little combo there of using your nixon card exactly and bo both henry cabot lodge and the great seal bug get like an extra bonus as well because not only do you get this this your your candidate card flipped back up again from its exhausted side but you're also you get, scoring in defense yeah you get defense you get state support in massachusetts like just for the heck of it it's pretty it's pretty good yeah. um yeah i've i've always really uh i think henry cabot lodge might be in one of the if not the best and one of the best nixon Cards events and, oh really hey eh? it's that powerful yeah, i think so yeah and so this allows you to actually retrieve it which is really um pretty valuable pretty good yeah now if you if he's not in the discard pile uh this card becomes much much less valuable oh it's pretty much it's useless i mean you, yeah you may as well just score take your three campaign points yeah exactly like you may you may um you may hang on to it until later on in your turn just in case your opponent plays henry cabot lodge and maybe can... blocks it with momentum markers and plays it yeah. Uh, to get the but four even campaign then, points. But even then, you have to be careful because you have to have uh, Nixon exhausted to even make it Henry Cabot that worthwhile. Yeah. Well, yeah, and that's and that's the that's the thing. It's uh, you know, but if if Henry Cabot lodges in the discard and you get that in, you get the Great Seal Bug in hand, then you can start planning. So you can exhaust right. your your Nixon card, then play this, get Henry Cabot Lodge back play that restore him yeah yeah exactly so play nixon again if you have to yeah. if you have a, if you have a mitt full of kennedy events so you can really really kind of um yeah work, work a very good combo with this yeah and obviously to have new york that to have support checks in new york that is that indicates you to you how valuable this card is right like the biggest um, uh one of the biggest scoring uh yeah so if you're kennedy and you get that card in the last couple turns you can you can smile because you got some backup in new york and you don't have to worry about uh you know i i I'd be very tempted to bury this event i've i in most games i've played new york is so hotly contested oh just Huge. having the insurance of this, the support checks there, even if you dominate it, it's worth it. I think. Yes, agreed. agreed. Just in case. So we come on to the unpledged electors. Another four mm -hmm. campaign points, and it's another election day event. Yeah, there's a lot of those this this time around. Yeah. Uh, on election day, if Kennedy wins Alabama, Louisiana, or Mississippi with less than four state support, the electoral votes for these states are not awarded to either player. Yeah, so basically takes Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi away from uh, Kennedy and unless Kennedy invests in carrying those states. Right. So Yeah, and that's, now that's again, a fair bit for those three states. You're not necessarily going to sink in four capital yeah. into that. So, Well, Alabama uh, is 11, Mississippi is 8, and Louisiana is, is 10. So it could potentially take... You know, twenty nine. Yeah, it's it's not bad. It's actually a pretty powerful event. Yeah, it can be mitigated by Kennedy, though. That's the thing. It's not. But that's a lot of. That just means a lot of resources allocated to those three states that are 
you know, they're middling states, middle, upper middle, yeah. I'd say. <clears throat> yep. But do you want to spend, you know, 12 ops into those states to guarantee they're yours? Yeah, exactly. And all Nixon has to do is come back and just take one or two away, you know, yeah. and then all of a sudden they're gone, so... Yeah, and again, this is not a card I would worry about in turn one because there's just, you know, if I th these these kind of uh, election day events I think are better if it, they're unplanned, like y your opponent only has a short time to react to them. And it, you notice again, it's for California is the yes. uh, state it's with, so it is a pretty powerful event for yeah, yeah, for state wise. Yes, for the election day, uh, uh, you know, support checks. So yes. yeah. I so I would generally say early game, I would take the campaign points for sure. And late game, I would I would look at it situationally. Um, <clears throat> obviously, if Nixon's dominating the South, then you don't even need it. But Right. Um, that, that is a good, that's a good point, too, right? That yeah. just means Kennedy doesn't get it, but mean, you know, Nixon doesn't either. So Yeah, exactly. And okay, Nixon. moving on to Hurricane Donna. Yes. Two campaign points gain two rest cubes so yeah and you move the player's candidate token to florida player gains one momentum marker and a state support in florida and this is for yeah. either of the two players yes and i think i think that's a very good event and that's an event i'm probably going to take more often than not um, agreed the, the momentum <laughs> marker is really nice Yep. Uh, Florida, especially if you if you have plans on working in in the south anyway. Yes. You get yourself down in the south. That's perfect. <laughs> yep. So it saves you a campaign point in movement alone. That's right, and it's only worth two to start. So actually, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck in this one. Yes. Yeah. I would I would say unless you've got a compelling reason not to, I I'm taking this event. Montana is just not going to be worth you uh, know hanging on to this yeah, one until no, later. No. No, um, no. but if 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 you're really if if it's not part of your game plan, then it this is also useful in the debate, right? So, and I would I would that. suggest that playing this one earlier in the round too is helpful because you get the momentum marker that you can also use. Yes, uh, good point. One way or another, right? Yeah, down the down the road in the turn. So, yeah, pretty good pretty point. actually pretty good card for two for two campaign yeah. points. I'd say it's yeah. a pretty good card. I'm taking that event most times. Yeah. All right. Okay. Next up, we have. Is Jackie Kennedy. Oh, Jackie, Jackie O. All right. Three campaign points, and you gain one rest cube. Yeah. So for the remainder of the turn, the Nixon player must expend one momentum marker in order to play a card as an event. So I think this card really is great to play right off the hop on a turn for Kennedy, just to yes. jam up Nixon for any <laughs> kind of events they were planning on playing. <laughs> yeah, because it's not very often, I find in general, that you have much more than two momentum markers in, in your hand at any given time. Sometimes you stack them up, but the attrition really, you know, works them. So <laughs> Whittles yeah. those down, right? Yeah. Um, so it, it again, it's, it's, a, it's a way to jam Nixon up uh, and certainly... You know, if there's any great events in hand, I mean, obviously, we're, you're going to be very happy to see those uh, blocked. It, it's a bit of a crapshoot just because, uh, you know, potentially Nixon has all Kennedy events. And so he's yep. playing for for the campaign points anyway. But I think it's a good insurance policy kind of card. Yeah. And I, I, I mean, what do you think about I, I would say that probably it's it's better played in the in the earlier part of the game before the debates because after the debates I've, i i at least in my experience i'm spending most of my my cards on um campaigning so i'm i'm running my candidate ragged as a, yeah. around the country yeah so i'm yeah. i'm i'm less likely to take a lot of events but what are your thoughts on um that? no you know what i'm a little more flexible i think i think any round I, this is this is kind of one of those i think a must depending on your hand of course but i think it's a pretty much a must play Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. even late game too, because you you don't want to be surprised with any events, and if you are, then you want Nixon to pay pay for it. Yes. Yeah, that's true. And, and especially if he's paying for it, and you have cards that you know you 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 want to see his his momentum markers uh, whittled down, then it's yes. even even the better. So. Yeah. Yeah. If Nixon has no momentum markers, then that is can be a pretty crippling uh, event. Yeah. Yeah. I, sure. I I think it's I think it's almost a must play. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. All right. So. All right, moving on to card number eight. Is that eight or nine? One, two, three. 
No, that's card number nine. Oh, card number nine. Okay. <clears throat> Johnson jeered in Dallas. And two campaign points, two rest cubes. The Kennedy player loses one state sport in Texas and may not spend campaign points on campaigning actions in the South for the remainder of the turn. Yeah. This is punishing in the final final round, especially final if you're turn looking or at two. Yeah, yes. if, you, if you're looking at moving in as Nixon to uh, the South, and you get this late round, genius. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I I don't see it as being a game changer earlier on in the in the game, although it is a bit inconvenient to lose a state support in Texas. But um, but in many cases, if it's if it's early enough in the in the game. If, if you drop this on me in turn two, I'd be like, well, okay, I'll just work around it. I just won't, I'll worry about the South in turn three then, you know, that's right. That's uh, right. And I'll, there's plenty of other places to be, but if, if the South is a, is a key kind of battleground, then, um, dropping this in the last, on, on, on the last in round, the last the round is punishing is very punishing. Yes. I mean, because there's a fair chunk of, uh, of States that you could pick up there as, as Nixon, <laughs> In yeah. the South, that uh, yes, I mean Texas, and Florida, Louisiana, well. Georgia, right? There's a uh, yeah. Tennessee, yeah, even into uh, Virginia there. So I mean, there's a there's a lot. Oh, in North Carolina, fourteen. So I mean, there is yeah. a lot of potential uh, states you can pick up for points if in, yeah. in a sweep through there that you could really maximize I, that card. Yeah, I would not be surprised actually if in 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 some games this is actually a game winner. And, and for only two campaign points, yeah, pretty it's, awesome. It's yeah, it's very little cost to you, but yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay, and the last one uh, for today, what are we looking at? We have Pierre yeah. Salinger, and it's a three campaign points and gain one rest cube. Uh, the Kennedy player may add three issue support in any one issue. Yes, and I I really like this. Like uh, when you, especially compared to the first card we covered, you know, missile gap. Yes. You know, which is only defense. This gives you flexibility. Yeah, really, it does. Yeah, and it's 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 almost you could play at any time of the game too, right? I mean, maybe not the very last rounds, but yeah. Well, uh, any any time really in the well, even yeah, maybe not the last turn, maybe, but yeah, up to the, it depends. Up to the second last, even yeah. You know, um, but uh, but certainly any time. In the first, uh, you know, what, what almost like, you know, ninety percent of the game, this yeah. card is is uh, relevant. So yeah, like anywhere up like turn seven, anytime it, it's all good because you can load up that that uh, you know the, any the, issue, the, any issue any you issue. want, right? Yeah, but that's right. Especially with the view of getting an endorsement and a momentum marker as a first place to, first place issue, I would maybe save this until you you know to the last card maybe. And then you can just drop the support on there and take it before the your opponent can react. Oh, you you would love. I could see you playing this as the last card in your round. I, that's yes, totally a thing you would yeah. do. <laughs> but you, you could alternatively, though, you could also play it early and force your opponent to react to it. Right? It might be a great distraction. So you know, Nato, I, I've heard you talk about you know like loading up in one of the issues and just like you know. Yeah. What what would your strategy be for that? Would you take an issue you already have, say, one or two on and just load up five on it? Or would you go for an issue that I have and and whittle me down and take take control? What what would your approach be? I'm I'm curious. Uh, Yeah, like most of most questions like this, it really depends. But I kind of like having an indisputable lead in in an issue because it it means that, um, you know, in many cases, the the issue is going to be insulated against uh, enemy card play and and campaign point play it's just gonna be too expensive to knock you back and so even though the 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 support cubes gradually uh wear away um it, it you can you get a benefit an ongoing benefit for turn after turn after turn uh just by leading in at least one issue you get at least a momentum marker out of it if nothing else that's right so yeah um to me it's it's just it's more it's partly uh discouraging uh very much so actually you're you're right on there for sure it's partly the fact you can focus on the other two issues so if you pile into civil rights and that's your your thing and then you only really need to fight over defense and economy. So you're, whereas the whereas the Nixon player in that case would have to really kind of think about fighting in all three. You can just focus on the two, and that gives makes your plays more efficient that way. Yes. Um, 
and uh and yeah it just becomes you know something that is uh helpful because again if you have a dominant uh position in defense there are certain cards that trigger or in civil rights or whatever That's you certain right. events the leader in the leader in whatever yes exactly yeah. so yeah you know you um, own that that uh that space yeah so very likely unless it's the last turn i'm i'm taking this uh for the event in most oh, yeah. cases yeah, yeah. now and, as yeah. nixon would you uh, try to mitigate it yeah this one might be one to block um or uh yeah i mean again like it's or bury yeah bury it i mean alabama is your compensation in turn seven and eight there so yeah it's not overly uh, compelling yeah, for that well it's 11 it's not bad you know Alabama. Uh, yeah. yeah 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 but uh yeah it's yeah it, it 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 is an inconvenient card to play because if kennedy can spend one momentum marker and get three issue support in any one issue that's a pretty good deal that's that's probably a flip-flop or a or a basically like a you know consolidation of, of yeah a, of versus a... versus missile gap that we started with you know there's three issues support in defense you know it depends right but this gives this card gives the flexibility and i'd be much more inclined to either bury it or block it for right. sure. Very good. Yeah. So, anyway, for those of you who stuck uh, th uh, through this, um, thank you so much for watching. We hope you got some value uh, out of out of these, and we're gonna uh, finish the the series up uh, at some point in the next few weeks. And we, but we hope you're enjoying it. And you're learning some some strategy ideas and i mean we've yeah, played a fair amount of this game so yeah, got we, some, we have we have if there's anything that we missed doing. or if there's uh, other insights that you had into these cards please uh, don't forget to uh, comment below and let us know and like and subscribe yeah so thank you so much for watching i'm nato i'm cax and, and this, this is legendary, legendary tactics, tactics.